Hello and welcome to our video, 10 informations you need to know about yesterday. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most important events that took place yesterday, giving you a quick summary of each one. Met officers moved. According to the BBC, around 90 Metropolitan Police officers have been reassigned from their duties in tackling serious crime and terrorism to investigating misconduct within the force. This move comes after the Metropolitan Police was criticized in a report for being institutionally racist, homophobic, and misogynistic. Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley stated that he wants the officers to help remove the cancer from the body of the force. Questions over Morel Raid The National has reported that concerns are emerging about whether the Scottish police were influenced to postpone the detainment of Nicola Sturgeon's husband until after a successor had been identified for the previous Scottish First Minister. The former SNP chief executive, Peter Morell, was taken into custody yesterday as part of an investigation into the party's financial affairs. The National has further revealed that during the operation, 10 uniformed officers were deployed outside Sturgeon's residence, and the curtains and blinds were drawn. Trump calls for FBI defunding. According to The Times, Donald Trump has urged the Republican Party to retaliate against his apprehension by punishing the FBI and Department of Justice. On his Truth Social platform, Trump posted a message stating that the GOP members in Congress should stop funding the DOJ and FBI until they come to their senses. Trump further accused the Democrats of abusing their power and using law enforcement to interfere with the country's already vulnerable elections. The former president, who pleaded not guilty to criminal charges in New York, is reportedly continuing his aggressive stance. Asylum Plan Warning The Refugee Council and Choose Love together with law centers and faith groups, have written a letter to Rishi Sunak warning of a humanitarian disaster if the government proceeds with its proposal to accommodate asylum seekers on military bases and barges. They have urged the chancellor to heed rational thought and abandon plans to create asylum camps at former RAF bases in Essex and North Yorkshire and the former prison site in East Sussex, as well as proposals to use ferries and barges. Meanwhile, Ministers have justified the decision by highlighting the lower cost of £50 per day to house asylum seekers on barges or bases, compared to the £150 per day spent to accommodate over 51,000 asylum seekers currently residing in nearly 400 hotels at a total cost of more than £6 million per day. Royals Disputed Estates Bonus the Guardian's investigation revealed that King Charles and the late Queen Elizabeth II received payments worth over £1 billion from two disputed land and property estates. These two estates have been at the core of a long-standing argument about whether their profits should be allocated to the public. The paper further stated that, accounting for inflation, the monarch's combined revenue from the estates exceeded £1.2 billion and their income from the duchies had increased by 16 times during Elizabeth's reign. However, Buckingham Palace dismissed the figures as hypothetical. Ardern tells nerds they can win. CNN reported that Jacinda Ardern, the former Prime Minister of New Zealand, delivered an inspiring speech as she departed from politics, encouraging other individuals who possess traits such as sensitivity, kindness, and emotional expressiveness to aspire to leadership roles. Ardern stated that being a mother, a former member of the Mormon faith, or possessing qualities such as being a nerd, crier, or hugger does not disqualify one from aspiring to lead. She announced her sudden resignation in January, citing exhaustion and a lack of motivation to continue in her role. Warning over mackerel's future According to the Marine Conservation Society, Atlantic mackerel has received an unsustainable rating for the first time in a decade due to overfishing. As a result, consumers have been advised to refrain from purchasing it as its rating has fallen from green, which signifies the best option, to amber, meaning that it requires improvement, in the good fish guide provided by the organization. Additionally, the charity has recommended that individuals should abstain from consuming crab and lobster from certain areas in the UK to minimize the likelihood of whales perishing due to being ensnared in fishing equipment. Smart motorways scrapped. The iNews site has reported that the UK government has no intention of constructing additional smart motorways following significant apprehensions regarding their safety and expenses. 
In 2022, ministers suspended the expansion of all new routes to undertake an assessment of safety statistics. The website has stated that the remaining £3 billion initiative, which aimed to create new highways in London, Greater Manchester, and the Pennines, has now been put on hold indefinitely. Smart motorways have been held responsible for several fatalities since their introduction. Tory suspended after time's sting. Scott Benton, the Conservative MP for Blackpool South, has been suspended from the Parliamentary Party for suggesting he would violate lobbying regulations for monetary gain. This came to light after the Times journalists, who were posing as TAHR Partners representatives, a fictitious company advocating for the manipulation of government policy, met with him. Benton has since lost the whip after the incident. While responding to the allegations, he stated that he had no contact with the fake firm following the meeting and that he was worried that what was being requested of him went against the regulations. Country folk not entitled to peace. According to The Telegraph, a judge has ruled that rural homeowners do not have the right to peace and quiet. Zoe Bucknell, a corporate lawyer who opposed a development near her Kent farmhouse, was informed by the judge that she is not automatically entitled to the maintenance of the same rural peace and quiet she experienced when she purchased her £1.3 million property in 2014. The court dismissed her argument that noise, vibrations, and fumes from traffic passing up the driveway past her quiet and secluded forever home posed a threat to her peace.